Uh, three beakers. And the lab you guys are going to do next time, uh, it's going to be determining whether or not a process has gone through a chemical change. And there are certain things you're going to look for. We'll talk about a couple of those right now. Number one, you're going to look for whether or not there's a temperature change, whether it absorbs heat or gives off heat. It indicates there's some type of chemical reaction taking place. Number two, you're going to look for a gas forming. Usually that will appear as tiny bubbles. Like remember our first demo when you saw the hydrogen, uh, the hydrogen peroxide decomposing and you saw those tiny bubbles? And another thing you look for is a color change, and that's what we're going to show today. Uh, this first beaker has this, uh, I don't know, purple stuff dissolved in it, a purple solution. And the second beaker has appeared to be empty. And the second beaker does. And so does the third. And I'm just going to pour the solution into each of those beakers. So, here we go. It's pretty impressive, isn't it? So we've gone from that purple color to a colorless solution. And then we'll pour it into the third beaker. And we get, uh, what flavor is that? Arctic Blast? <laughs> is that right? Is it Arctic Blast? Power 8 fans out there? Or, hey, your mom might make you drink this. Skim milk? <laughs> <laughs> Looks pretty bad. Anyway, uh, this, at, this last one's actually a precipitate formation, and that's something else that indicates a chemical reaction is taking place. So we're going from purple to colorless to a white precipitate. I go backwards for you, but uh, I can turn wine into water, uh, but only Barack Obama can turn water back into wine. <laughs> you guys all, know. all right. 